Joining us now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence, a man that's going to be looking to put a Titan belt around his waist. It is Steven Sauer, who's 28 in 14. He is going to be challenging Andre Harrison for the Titan FC featherweight title coming up here on March the 4th, Titan FC 37 course an event that you can watch live on UFC Fight Pass. Steven, obviously, uh, you've had an opportunity for Titan goal in the past. That night, the judges uh, did not score in your way, but but you've been on an absolute roll since that fight ended. Uh, you must know we're coming off a decision win in November. Uh, overall, obviously, 2015 was a great year for you, uh, but when you go back and you think of 2015, how do you kind of characterize it? Uh, active it is, I've been, I'm going on my 11 year, sorry, 11th year of fighting. And, uh, that was the most active year I've ever had. And it, it was awesome. You know, obviously you go out there, uh, four of your five wins come via, uh, via stoppage in the first round. Uh, ideally, do you want to be that active or is it something along the lines of you, you've been doing this so long that maybe do you, do you almost kind of feel like maybe that window is closing on you? Um, yeah, no, I mean, I, I always believe, you know, any loss will be the ultimate setback of my goal of getting back to the UFC. So I figure any loss will derail that opportunity. But at the same time, you know, I know I could be doing this for at least another 10, 11 years where, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to stay active, keep fighting just because it's what I love to do. You talk about that ultimate goal of getting back to the UFC. Uh, if a promotion like a Bellator or a World Series of Fighting came calling to you, is that something you're open to? Or is is the fact of, look, I'm trying to get back to the UFC, so I'm not really worried about those other organizations? Uh, right now, at this very moment, you know, the goal is still the UFC. Um, I have actually talked with World Series in the past, and they just weren't really something I was interested in at the moment. Um, you know, I haven't talked to Bellator, but right now, you know, my only goal is uh, the UFC. And, of course, a uh, chance to get to the UFC. Big opportunity gets here against Andre Harrison. Uh, there's a lot of people that would compare Andre Harrison to the last guy you lost to, uh, that being Desmond Green. Do you see a lot of similarities between those two fighters? Um, you know, not really. I, I mean, I, I guess I could see some similarities, but I, I figure there are two different types of wrestlers, actually. Where, uh, you know, Dez was more, you know, body locks and grinding on me, where Andre will actually be looking for lower takedowns and trying to actually get me to the ground, um, which is where I think I do better again. In terms of striking, do you do you see similarities there? I mean, do you almost almost in a way feel like you're kind of, you've already had this training camp before? Um, no, you know, I, I feel it's a completely different fight. I, I mean, Andre, you know, just beat Dez. He's, so you can see how, you know, his stand-ups actually, I felt a little bit better than Dez. Um, and, you know, I think his wrestling, you know, is just as good as Dez. So I think I'm fighting a better opponent uh, than the one I fought last time. Uh, in terms of uh, for you training for this fight, uh, as I recall, you, you kind of went to a, a different gym the last time we talked. What, have are you are you kind of at one gym this time, or are you going to a couple of gyms? Um, you know, I've been sticking to us. Uh, I mean, I've, I've been training here around Utah a little bit. I've been working with another gym, Absolute, up in Salt Lake, uh, which is about uh, 45 miles from where I live. Um, I mean, the biggest difference is. That I believe from since we last talk was that we had a gym fallout, I guess, with the head coach ending ending up getting fired. And so he ended up leaving up and kind of starting his own thing. Sorry. And then uh, the majority of the team, actually, probably I would say about 95% of the team ended up leaving with the head coach. And uh, me and Court McGee ended up staying back and kind of doing our own thing at the pit elevated. You know, you hear about coaches exiting a camp, but for a fighter, what does that do for you when, when a guy that, you know, you've been working with, he, he's been helping with your abilities, and all of a sudden he's no longer at that gym? What, what kind of effects does it have on you as a fighter? Um, you know, since it happens when I started my win streak, so you know, obviously it didn't affect it too much. Um, you know, I actually think me and Court kind of are better off doing our own thing, which it was was the decision we had to make was we knew that Jason was leaving. We knew the majority of the team was leaving. Um, do we want to go with them and kind of, you know, do that do that thing or kind of just stay off on our own and 
uh, see where it goes. Uh, ultimately, we decided to stay back and see where it goes, where we were actually able to get Ramsey back, uh, Ramsey from San Francisco back, um, Ramsey Nijum, and then uh, Brock Chardin, who was uh, not getting along with Coach Jason at the time. So he ended up coming back now that Jason's gone too. So more than anything, we got the, the core group back together, which I thought was more important, partner, important was the training partners more than the coach. When you, you talk about getting that, that core back together, and once again, we're joined by Steven Sauer, who's going to be looking to become the Titan FC featherweight champion on no, on March the 4th, Titan FC 37. But when you talk about having that core back together, uh, is it is the advantage of that more mental than physical, or is it more physical than mental? Um, You know, it's definitely both, actually. You know, it's uh, physical because, you know, we bring different aspects. Ramsey's a really good wrestler. Court pushes it every day with conditioning. And so, Court's more running practices now, but, you know, he, he pushes us a lot harder than the old coach did. Uh, but also mental because the fact that I'm a lot happier having these guys around where, you know, we had a bunch of younger guys in with the old coach. I ended up leaving, but it just wasn't clicking as much where now – we got the core guys back, and I'm very happy with them. Love them all, and they're they're my true brothers. And now we're actually able to work together, and you know, keep you know, Corp winning in the UFC, getting me back in the UFC, and then you know, whatever the hell that you want to do, they could do as well. In terms of when you have those guys that you always train with, how much of having those guys around is a fact of they know how to push your buttons. They know how to get the best out of you as opposed to when you're training with guys who, you know, maybe they've trained with you a month too. They really don't know how to push your buttons to get the best Steven Siler inside the gym. Yeah, and at the same time too, like with the guys that I was with, Basically, I was just the vet, you know, who's been doing this for a lot of years, been in the UFC, and with a bunch of younger kids who, you know, didn't know what to expect, where now I'm back with, you know, Cord and Brock and those guys who've been there already, and, um, you know, I don't have to try to be a leader. I could just be more one of the guys, which has been awesome. And, of course, you got this fight against Andre Harrison. Uh, simply put, Steven, how do you get the victory here? Um, you know, I, I feel like I'm better – you know, on the feet. I know I'm going to be better on the feet. That's not an issue. Uh, it's just whether or not when he does take me down, I do get up or I do submit him. Uh, I would definitely love a knockout, but I'm not going to call a knockout. I'm I'm hoping to submit him, but I do want to finish. And, and is is a lot of this camp basically about what, the takedown defense of wrestling, or do you also make sure of like, look, I, I got to concentrate on, on takedown defense, but I also need to make sure that I'm working on my stand up. I'm working on my jiu jitsu. Is that kind of the mindset in this camp? Yeah, always. I'm always trying to stay ready everywhere. You know, I don't ever want to just focus on one thing and lose everything else that I've worked for all these years. And, of course, this fight's going to be part of Titan FC 37, which you can watch live on UFC Fight Pass on March the 4th. Steven, as always, appreciate time, and good luck in the fight, man. Thank you very much.